Hi there, everyone. How you doing? Jeff C. here. It is Thursday, November the 13th, and um, the corporate media. There's not much to choose from. I mean, oh boy, where do you begin when you talk about the corporate media? It's just all controlled one way or another. Um, it's meant to divide and conquer, and really is more or less infotainment by and large, whether you turn to C, uh, CBS or CNN or MSNBC or the dumb turds, right? I mean, you might as well turn to SourceFed and, and the like on YouTube because it's it's all infotainment these days. It's very hard to get serious news. And if you do turn to those serious newscasts like the uh, 60 Minutes or PBS or whatever, it's uh, hugely controlled, um, largely gatekeeping people, those types of programs. I mean, you're you're going to get the official story and um, you're most likely going to get a, a sort of slant one way or another, um, you know, in order to convince you or to further divide and conquer people and all that. So I found this clip really interesting because it's um, just a short clip they put on the, the national here on YouTube. And John Stewart, of course, is being interviewed by Wendy Botox Mesley. And uh, she's saying, well, you're pretty much the most trusted man in in America on news, of course, which is ironic because he's not a newscaster. He's uh, a late late night talk show host. Uh, yes, he does do a great deal of parodies, uh, and he's constantly making fun of other newscasts, in particular Fox News, and uh, he likes to go after CNN as well. And you know, there's some pretty funny stuff that they do um, that I've seen on clips. I never watch any of this stuff. I don't watch TV. I can't stand television. I just watch hockey and the odd sports thing here and there. Um, so I don't follow this stuff uh, on the television. I do see the clips here and there on YouTube. Now, Jon Stewart, of course, is a gatekeeper in the biggest, <laughs> most left-wing liberal sort of sense. And uh, I don't trust him one bit. And he might be entertaining, he might be funny, but he is definitely, by and large, mind-controlling the youth. I guess that's mostly what watch him, right? The college crowd and stuff, right? In the United States. So... Let's take a look at this. Uh, I think he gives uh, some pretty interesting little tidbit here. You are a phenomena in the sense that when the big uh, nookie nook stepped down and... The big nookie nook stepped down. Of the, the big anchors of the big shows in the States, they kind of thought, John Stewart should do that because that's who everybody believes these days. I mean, interesting, eh? John Stewart should do that because that's who everyone believes these days. They could be grooming him for that. I mean, he could eventually take Diane CFR Sawyer's place. Who knows, right? Um, but I think he likes his kind of campy sort of show and, you know, gets a little bit more leeway for sure to play their games. I there, think, you see, you're like, oh, that's so silly, but it's true. But I think in some respects it is a statement of protest. So if you were to say, who's the most trusted newsman in America? And you would say, uh, Brian Williams, Diane Sawyer, uh, Bob Schieffer, or John Stewart. A lot of people may vote for me, but that's a protest vote. A lot of people would vote if D was a dildo rolled in glitter, people would vote for that. <laughs> Actually, you'd be hard-pressed not to vote for the dildo rolled in glitter because... Um, it's by and large what uh, uh, late night talk or late night talk show hosts, newscasters, right? Anchors really are. I mean, you could put a dildo wrapped in glitter, and you'd probably have just as many people tuning in, uh, seeing how each uh, newscaster reads a teleprompter, as does John Stewart. That's what they do. So infotainment is the news of today. Um, all the uh, news outlets resort to infotainment. Um, a perfect example would be Fox News, for instance, with the glass tables and the, the girls with the short skirts, right? The, the attractive girls. Uh, another perfect example would be, um, say, the dumb turds, right? And their uh, college crowd, TYT University, and covering Kim Kardashian and, and trendy or trashy and crap like that. And, uh, of course, then you go to the more obvious ones, like on YouTube, you have stuff like SourceFed, right? Which is just candy-coated crap, right? They wrap up the... Um, the corporate media stuff, which is basically what the dumb turds do too, and they just give it a candy coating, right? It's uh, you take a piece of turd, a dog turd, and you wrap it up in candy coating, and you know, deliver it to the slumbering sheeple teens or whatever your your audience is. So um, I think he's not all that far off, um, and John Stewart is a gatekeeper, a huge, huge, massive gatekeeper. In fact, he is a, he plays an extremely important function within the media. 
And if really, even though he's not technically a news anchor, he might as well be, because I think just as many do, people do turn to him. In fact, they turn to him for the Jon Stewart opinion, which is, of course, not only his opinion, because he's reading teleprompters, right? So uh, Jon Stewart has a role to play, and he is never going to come out and expose what's really going on. Of course not, because you can see, like here... Uh, John Stewart holding up a sign saying 9-11 was an outside job. In fact, he's outraged often at 9-11 truthers. If I'm not mistaken, and people can correct me about this below, but I remember seeing a clip uh, oh, a year, two years ago, where it was, I think, We Are Change got into the studio and tried to say 9-11 was an inside job, and then they were confronted outside in the street by John Stewart's producer, and he, he actually punched a guy in the face or something like that. Um, yeah, these guys, you can't trust them. There's no way. And you can't go to these guys to figure out what's going on. I mean, you have to be really, really uh, brain dead to think that they're going to give you some truth. They might give you some humor. It's not hard to make fun of Fox News. I'm sure I could make a good career out of it if uh, somebody wanted to hire me and pay me. <laughs> Only I love doing what I do already so much. So, I mean, this is this is his uh, thing. I mean, it's all divide and conquer. You have the left and the right, and you're always playing each other against each other. And it's uh, Stefan, or uh, is it Stefan Colbert? Stephen Colbert? I don't even know. See, another gatekeeper. They're all there for a purpose and really that is what the news is anyways that's where cnn is going with all their broadcasts that's why they're bringing in all the infotainment and it might as well be i mean you might as well if you're going to get your news from msnbc or the dumb turds you might as well go to john stewart <laughs> you know it's half a dozen of one six of the other it's it, it, serious news forget about it right i mean you'll have to come to channels like this one here um to get a real uh, sort of analytical interpretation of what these jokers are up to um, but they are 100 percent propaganda so as much as john stewart is beloved and and is as well liked by americans he is a massive massive gatekeeper make no mistake whatsoever so john it might as well be that giant dildo uh you know wrapped in glitter <laughs> i'm sure it would you know be just as successful and funny as you are <laughs>